I'm here today in Lydney and I'm speaking with this man called Emilio Palama. Lovely. Nice to meet you. My name is Nikki. Okay, so basically what we wanted to ask you about today is um, do you have any beliefs at all in this yeah. life? I, I believe in God and I just want to say every, every Christmas and Easter I go to church. I carry a cross with me. Carry a cross, yeah, 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 okay. So when you say you believe in God, what God are you referring to? Jesus Christ, obviously. You say that though, you see, but there's many different beliefs out there, isn't there, this day and age. So obviously someone else could come up with lots of different things, like you've got Buddhists, uh, Islam, um, you've got things like Scientology, there's all sorts of different beliefs yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. So what gave you that foundation then of that belief in the first place? It, the foundation, when I was a child, I actually was going to church as a child and then I served a mass with the priest we, and we gave him the Holy Ghost, like a sort of... And uh, from there on, uh, it just carry on mm, mm. and if you got like a personal faith then or is that just something you've been brought up with i've been brought up with yeah right. by my father my mother and, okay so and it's kind of like do you do it more out of like a duty rather than a want to maybe well i can't explain to that really Okay, then, okay, um, in your heart then, in your heart of hearts, why would you say you go to church? I go to church because I believe in, and uh, I'm just going to say, yeah, um, I, go, I lost two or three brothers and sisters recently. That's why I carry a band okay. off of my represent sister, that, represent, yeah. represent yeah. that, and I'm just going to say, yeah, I, I really, I, people that ask me why I don't want to be in a different church, I go to a different church, like a um, um, Protestant and different, if you say somebody die, I go whatever church it is, they make, a, they make a, my symbol to this person. What gives you like passion then in this life? It's what gives you... Are you a passionate man? Yeah. 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 Pa Italians normally are. <laughs> yeah, I am a very, yeah, very passion. Yeah, yeah. Passion to, yeah. to uh, I'm going to say, to everybody. If he was, somebody said to me, uh, why do you swear to God? And I say, because you shouldn't swear to God. The God don't have done anything to you. Why do you swear to God all the time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So people realise how I am, because I don't swear to God. Mm. I go to church and I believe in God, mm. and that's, that's the way I am. What do you think is the most important thing then for you as a human being to do in this life? Well, it's a hard <laughs> question, I'm, uh, I'm going to say. Like, like, what do you think you're here for then? I'm here because I came here, say, 54 years ago, and I came here to work, and then uh, three months later, I said, oh, what am I doing here? Why I don't come back home to my yeah. mum and my dad? Yeah. And then uh, I realised I had a job, and I said, if you go back, you know, I haven't got a job, so my, so I'll stay here, carry on, do what I do. Yeah. And, and then he went by, I got married, I got three children, I got three grandchildren, and, and, and that's the way, and yeah. that's the way it's gone. Do you think it's important then to share your belief and your faith with others? Yes, I do. Why? Why? Because I believe anybody go to the church and I seen say somebody who actually 
didn't go for a church, say, for 12 months or 18 years. And all of a sudden, I seen him in church next to me. And I said, what is, you see this man, he been something wrong or something happened to him. So he's come back to the church and prayed to the God because I, I never seen this man before in my life in church. And all of a sudden, he, I seen him in church. I, it's something... It's like a divine moment. Yeah. Yeah. One, yeah. Do you think, what do you think, what is church to you? What is church? To, to church, uh, it's everything to me. Yeah. I go to church. Is church the building? Yes. Right, it's and not the people. In Lydia, in this time and day, we can't find no vicars. The vicars, the leading the church will be demolished because we can't find no priest anymore. So one day you find them in Sinifer, one day you find them in Sebury, one day you find them in Crawford. Mm. I, it, that's the way the reason it, we can't find no priest anymore. What? The Catholic, the Catholic Church, it just. I don't know, because before we had... A, strong a, a, before. Yeah. Really strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, yeah. It, it just it just gradually disappeared. I don't know why, the reason... What do you think then the church should be doing, actively doing out there? Well, the church should have been done something for the people. Yeah. At the Sunday, some, like Lydney, people to go to the church, have a, the blessing from from the priest or whatever, and, and then just come back home. And then... Do you think it's the priest that blesses them, or do you think it's God that blesses them? No, no, the priest would do the mass. It was the God who bless them. The priest only only there as a number. Do you think like um, what do you think is the most important message? to get out to people that, that don't know God? Well, the message, the vicar would give the message how, uh, how Jesus was born, was, uh, the Christ was resolved, and the, the mother, the father could be together with the children, and the children would learn from this, this moment where the, the vicar would, would tell the father and the mother and the children around you will listen to what the priest has said. I mean, he's just said, I mean, it's not him saying, it's the God. Do you think um, everybody that goes to church will be going to heaven? or No. no. Why is that? No. It depends, depend, depend. They say, oh, we got a, a devil, we got a... It's up, it's up to the individual. Do you know what what does it depend on then for them to to go to heaven? No swearing. No carpetized Christ. Is it through works or would you say it's through faith? To faith. Faith in what? Faith in in everything. Yeah. Because to faith is it just a big words to say that. Christ, Christ is sister. So, are you a good person? Sorry? Are you a good person? I can. Are, are you a good person? I am a good person, yeah. I help any, everybody, every people. In Lydney, I can go with them. I, I, Ed, and everybody loves me. What makes you good? Because I do help people. Can I do a little test to see how good you are? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> okay. Right, so um, this is based on, as you would know yourself, the Ten Commandments, yeah. God's moral laws, okay? And what he passed down to us to see, you know, if we could stick to these laws or not, see how good we are. So first question would be, um, have you ever stolen anything before? No. Nothing at all? No. Not even when you were young, like a little rubber or something, or like some sweets in a shop, candy? No, sorry. Right, if your dad's purse or something, no. there, dad's purse, mum's purse. No, no, <laughs> so I remember. No, I used to. Okay. I used, yeah, when I was a child, when I was a child, yeah. actually, 
<laughs> I was, because we lived in a farm, yeah. I pinched eggs. <laughs> Okay, right. and, I, and I used to sell it right. for a reason to go play on ah. billiard. Right. right. So Sorry. you have stolen something yeah. before? But yes. What would that make you? It made me feel guilty. I mean, my, my, mother, my mother knew. Because you got a conscience? Yeah. 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 So does it make, what, what, what is that then? What do you call that, somebody who steals something? Thief. Okay, so that makes you a thief then. So in yeah. God's eyes, do you think that would be good or? No, no, it would not be good, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Obviously. Okay. Right, yeah. okay. Have you ever, um, how many lies have you told your whole life? Lies, lies. I would say 5%. Five percent. Only five? Oh, yeah. That's not bad. <laughs> no, 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 no. No bother at all. Okay. But if you tell <laughs> lies, remember, if you tell lies, you've got to be a good, good yeah, exactly. mind. Yeah, exactly. You've got to remember it, haven't you? Yeah, yeah exactly. If you don't remember, you can't. <laughs> uh, uh, bad news. Yeah. So, um, what does that make you then if you've only told one lie your whole life? I don't know. I can't. A liar? A liar. Yeah, a liar. Right. Um... Have you ever looked at a woman with less before? Yes. So, what do you think that's right in God's eyes, or? Well, really, you can look at a woman, but you cannot touch it. It says in the Bible that even if a man looks at a woman in less, he's committed adultery in his heart. That's what Jesus said. You can look. That's why that your eyes is for. You can look at a woman. A bit, not touch it. So in God's eyes then you would be adulterous, you've broken that law. No, no, I'm like, not, no, 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 I'm not adultery. Okay. Because I look at you and I steam you how you are, I will, I will not touch you. Okay. Right. Okay. Um, oh, I'll see you another one. Uh, have you ever taken God's name in vain before? No. Never OMG, never JC. You've done very well then. Wow, well done. Brilliant. Okay. Um, so then, basically then, by your own admittance, I've got to remember now which ones you said you're a lying thief. Okay. So in God's eyes, you've already broken those commandments. And so would you agree that you need a saviour? Yes. Yeah. And... Um, do you know what you need to do to accept this saviour? No. no. If you tell me, yes, I will explain to you. Okay, so, obviously, as you know, do you know the gospel message? Sorry? Do you know the gospel message? No. So the gospel message is the most important message we can get out there to people to share with them the good news of what Christ did for them. And as you, you mentioned Jesus earlier on, you know, when you were saying about your faith in God and everything else. But the thing is, we can't earn, you know, that acceptance in heaven just by the amount of good works we do. It doesn't matter. We could be Mother Teresa. It doesn't matter how many good works we do. All of us have fall short of the glory of God, as we've admitted ourselves. I, I've been a liar in the past. You know, I've done those things. I, I've stolen things. So equally, I would then be headed for hell unless I accept the Lord Jesus Christ into my heart and believe in what he did and that he came back to earth um, as man incarnate and he died and shed his blood for both of our sins and, and that he was put on the cross, pierced and... and terribly terribly treated you know he suffered hell on the cross if you don't know what hell is look at Jesus on the cross he suffered hell on the cross and then through that he took on our punishment and then he was and, and died buried and resurrected back to life from God the Father on the third day and it says in the Bible that whoever um, believes in Christ confesses with their mouth that he is Lord and Saviour and gives their life to him, they will be saved. So is that something you've already done today yes. at church? Um, yes. yes. Yeah. So and then, 
when we go to church, actually before we get that communion, yes, we go and confession ourselves through the vicar, the, all of the bad things we done and the good things. But he can't save you. He can't save no. me, no. Ah, but that's why he gave me the Holy Ghost. But God says you go to him direct. You see, you don't need to go for a vicar. You don't need to go for a priest. You don't need to go through a pastor. He says that his perfect sacrifice was good enough for the atonement of our sins. So actually, in fact, to go through priest or whoever is almost like saying to God, well, that your sacrifice wasn't good enough. I'm going to keep confessing these sins, but I'm going to keep committing them maybe afterwards. The only way and the only thing that is going to make your heart right and my heart right is by accepting Christ, not by going into a confession box and speaking to another man who in God's eyes is exactly the same as us. He's just, you know, he's just been appointed in that position. Um, yeah, so has that given you something to think about maybe today? The seriousness of actually, we could sit in a church our whole lives and we could do all of these good things and, and appear to do good things, help old ladies across the road, give to certain charities and that, but it's not good enough and it's not going to save us. Um, have, have you got anything to say to that today? You know, has that given you like a bit of a stirring up inside maybe? Maybe it's inside, yes. Yeah, good, yeah. good, good. So, um, okay, have you ever like prayed the salvation prayer before? Have you ever sort of got on your knees and said no? no? Maybe, would you like to think about that then? Yes, yeah. yes okay, I will. Yeah, can I pray for you today? Yes. Okay. Father God, I just pray, Lord, that, I'm um, sorry, can you confirm your name again? Emilio. Emilio, I pray, Lord, that you would soften his heart to you, Father God. I pray that he would have a real recognition of who you are, Father God, a revelation deep down inside of who you are, and he would confess his sins before you, admit that he's a sinner and that he can't save himself, that it's only through you, Lord Jesus, and believing in you and giving his life to you and accepting you as Lord um, and Saviour that he can be saved. I pray you'd soften his heart to that, Lord God, and this is something that he truly consider um, in his days to come. Well, now, basically. Is this something that you would, in, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Is this something that you would consider now to do? Yes. Brilliant. Thank you. Okay. Thank God bless.